my association with ISB is with the first batch of the ISB. Um, Sumantra Ghoshal, who was my colleague at London Business School and a, and a wonderful, wonderful professor, he was uh, associated with uh, with the ISB, uh, and he was the founding uh, one of uh, one of the founding deans of the ISB. Uh, I remember exactly where uh, where I was when he asked me. Uh, I was in a pub uh, in London uh, with uh, two of my very good friends, both from Pilani. Uh, Sumantra comes in there, you know, with his usual entourage uh, of people, and he comes up to me and he says, "Hey, Madan, uh, we are starting uh, the ISB. You know about that?" I said, "Yes, I do." I do. He said, I'd like for you to come and teach negotiation and bargaining there. So I said, absolutely. Uh, I came here 2000, December uh, and uh, January 2001, taught the founding batch of the ISB, have been involved with the ISB ever since then. Um, the first time I came here, uh, I taught here, uh, I would rate that teaching experience as among the most amazing teaching experience I ever had. It was the first time I was teaching in India, I was teaching people who I thought were like me, uh, much smarter, of course, but uh, people who are uh, who are like me, uh, they get me, they get my jokes, they get what I'm doing in the classroom. So I felt a sense of ease, a sense of comfort, uh, which uh, which was amazing, you know. So and I wanted to replicate that, so I would come back uh, very many times. But what I think my long association with ISB does do uh, is that uh, uh, I have an appreciation for what the ISB has been doing over the last 20 years. I have a deep appreciation of that. I've seen various deans, I've seen various faculty members, various staff, you know, the amount of contributions they've done and to build this place to be what it is. So I, I have an appreciation for what's been done, an appreciation for the legacy of the school. Uh, but, uh, but I also uh, have, because I'm an outsider still, you know, I'm not just a complete insider, uh, I also can see certain things which I think are opportunities for the ISB that the ISB can seize. The ISB uh, community at large, and uh, I include uh, all of the people who have been in the ISB in the past, can be immensely proud of what the ISB has achieved in 20 years. Uh, so you look at and you think about, uh, um, you know, it's an international, uh, internationally recognized world-class business school. It, it provides an education that is unparalleled. Uh, it provides experiences that are uh, remarkable for all of the different people who come to the school. Uh, this came about because uh, the founding uh, vision was a very, very clear vision. Uh, the ISB was founded uh, to be a research-led business school in India. And so the vision was, for, uh, was, was razor sharp. Uh, I think uh, to a very large extent you can say that that vision has served the school really well and it served the school to become what it is today. What we now have in the school is uh, we have a foundation uh, that will enable us uh, to do things uh, that uh, that if we if we imagine and if we think creatively, we think very boldly. There are things that we can do uh, because of all the things that people have done in the past. So what is it that we can do? Right. So you look around in uh, Mohali. You look a lot around in Hyderabad. We have uh, fantastic infrastructure. That's the first thing that strikes you. You come into the school, you say, wow, this is world-class infrastructure. You come and you talk to the people that uh, that are in the ISB. You look at the research that is being done in, in the ISB. Some of the research that is being done here is not being done anywhere else in the world. So this is research that is just being done here. So when I think about these things, I look at the resources that the school has. When we're talking about intellectual resources, you're talking about physical resources, you're talking about all those resources. I believe that we have the responsibility to contribute a lot more to India. Uh, and that's what I would be looking at and I would be thinking about and saying, right now we have all of these resources. What is it? How do we bring it all together so we can be doing a lot more than what we have been doing up to now? And we have a responsibility to uh, to tell people what we have learned over a period of time to, uh, and therefore in uh, in educating people contributing to the development of India. When I talk about the, the third decade of the ISB, I, so it should be about impact, you know, broadly defined, it should be about impact. But the impact itself allows us an opportunity to define ourselves distinctly. You know, very, we can make a very sharp distinction about what kind of a business school are we. You know? So it's perfectly good to have the vision and the distinction that we are a research-led business school that makes us pretty unique in India. So we look at and we think about and we talk about and do very, very rigorous research on problems that India faces. Uh, these are a developing world problems. If we play our cards correctly, we focus our energies, we focus our attention and keep doing what we're doing, but 
just you know nudge ourselves towards a, a slightly you know a more focused approach we can be the model of what a research led business school should be in the developing world no matter where someone is you know so there is someone who is in washington dc there's someone who is in london there's someone who is in nairobi there's someone who is in shanghai and they say i need to understand this aspect of doing business in a developing world isb should be the number one thing that you would they would be thinking about that's where i'm going to go get uh, all the information that i need all the knowledge that i need so that's what i'm i'm thinking that we can be that kind of an institution so some someone who comes into a position like mine so i have to acknowledge that the people who came before me you know have built a terrific institution and i take a similar kind of a view to what what they've taken that they have at this point in time they have been trusted and trusted with the responsibility of taking care of this institution so our goal is to leave this institution in a stronger position than at the time that we come into this institution so what i would like to tell the isb community is this is your school we need your support in everything that we are doing we hope that we can excite you about the journey that we are going to be going on because it's not just so when i lay out and i say that you know that this is the kind of school that we can be uh, i'd also like your thoughts about what else should we be doing you know what are the specifics that we should be doing what are the initiatives that we should be uh, uh, should be taking up they need to tell us what they would like their school to be so that would be what would be the message that i'd put out uh, to the isb community thank you